Good morning, Dr. Ferguson coming to you from the Passion Cam. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. Just wanted to talk this morning a little bit about staying active. You know, as one grows older and the baby boomers are becoming a bigger and bigger part of the population, the numbers are, are relatively large on the number of people that are baby boomers. That's people that were born from 1950, 1946 to 1964. If you're in that category, you're called a baby boomer. And so that group of people are getting older and older. And so it's important in that process that you have a mindset of staying active. Studies show that if one stays active throughout their entire life, they have a much lower incidence of chronic diseases and they live longer and live healthier. One of the things that exercise does that is kind of intangible that a person doesn't see is it helps your body produce endorphins. And your endorphins are, are like your body's own morphine, your body's own drugs. And it makes a person feel good and they, they want to do more because they feel good. That's one of the many things. Help keep your blood pressure in order, your diabetes under better control, help with your weight management, help with your joint pain, help with your flexibility. There's so many things that having a regular exercise regimen would be good for. So I just encourage you that start somewhere. Uh, you may say, I can't do much. Okay, start in the bed, lifting your arms and legs up. Move to the chair, uh, do chair exercises where you lift one leg up, and pat that leg and then you lift the other leg up pat that leg maybe do that four or five times then lift your arms up maybe four or five times then maybe twist to the side four or five times twist to the other side and just just begin to move and that and so maybe do that for five minutes then ten minutes and maybe you work your way up to where you can get up and do some walking around maybe after that um, you get some type of instrument to help you a walker or a step or a rolling machine something that that you like and something that you can coordinate one of the challenges with exercise equipment so often is that you get equipment that just gets dust on it and you don't use it so when you go to pick a piece of exercise equipment pick something that that you might utilize you don't have to love it but don't dislike it so that every time you go to do your exercise regimen you say oh man I gotta go do that again oh man and so you're kind of in that mode as opposed to being a mode of Oh man, I'm, you know, I know I need to do it, so I'm gonna do it. Two of the exercise pieces of equipment that can really utilize, that can really uh, get all of your major muscle groups in in stretch uh, in, in tone would be a stepper, and make sure the feet work independently, and a rowing machine. That combination. Now, if you use that combination. Uh, consistently together you'll basically hit all your major muscle groups one of the problems as people get older is their back muscles and their shoulder muscles and what happens when you go to get up out of a chair what does an older person do they have to use their arms to push yourself up out of the chair well, one of the reasons for that is the back muscles stomach muscles shoulder muscles have all gotten weaker so as you uh, proceed to get a little older, it's important that you keep the back strong, keep the shoulder strong, and the rowing machine is a great tool that can get all your major muscle groups. You just, when you're doing your rowing machine, you first pull maybe like you're pulling your arms underhand, then maybe you pull your arms overhand, and then maybe take your arms over your head, and take them. then maybe you can take them to one side, take them to the other side like you're rowing a boat. If you do a maneuver like that, that will get all of your major muscle groups to your back and also affect your stomach your thighs some so just on that note I just encourage you don't make any more excuses but start where you are and have a development exercise regimen something that you can work up to doing at least 20 minutes five times a week three to five times a week and aerobic exercise is also good that's the kind of thing to get your heart up and get your heart moving now if you do your stepper and your rowing machine at a consistent basis that will also be aerobic exercise so not only will it be good for your arms your back and all your other muscle groups but it also be good for your heart so on that note don't forget to exercise it's important throughout your entire life develop a regimen of doing something that you can do, that you you will do, that you'll be consistent with, that you won't make excuses on why you can't do it. It takes 21 Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 21 weeks, 21 days. And that to name 21 to 28 are the numbers that are thrown around on how long it takes to develop a habit. So I encourage you, 
Let's develop a habit of a good exercise regimen. And we'll talk more about this next time. On that note, be blessed and have a wonderful day.